a Stetman couple is wrecking their brain, trying to figure out where did they go wrong, what would cause someone they say is a stranger to randomly show up at their home and minutes later start shooting. Archie Kitchen says on September 22nd, around 3 a.m., he received a knock on his front door in the 6100 block of Bethany Drive. Kitchen says the stranger said he was from Lee County and needed directions to Fayetteville. Kitchen says he provided those directions. He asked me to repeat that. I repeated it, and he started acting kind of squirrely, so I slammed the door and locked it. Kitchen's wife covered. says the incident was very random. She says they pretty much stayed to themselves. It, it scared me because the guy beat on the door. It reminded me of like when the police come to your house, you know. Kitchen says after he closed the door, the gunman fired several bullets into his home. Kitchen was shot seven times and spent nearly 20 days in the there. hospital. I have two bullets through the abdomen, one which got my intestines and uh, one collapsed my lung. And I have uh, a through and through on my inner thigh on this side which clipped an artery. Kitchen is a tattoo artist and prior to the shooting, he says life was going well. In fact, he was working on opening his own tattoo parlor. Now, everything has shifted. The man's always... As long as I've been with him, he's tattooed, he's drawn, he's painted, you know, and the other night I watched him struggle to try and squeeze a ball in his hand. Cumberland County Sheriff deputies do not believe this was a random act. They are still looking to gather more details from Kitchen. Meanwhile, Kitchen takes one lesson from this experience. I don't answer my door for no one unless I know that they're coming. Now, Kitchen has several months of therapy ahead. He meets with his doctors regularly. An added frustration for the couple, they have no medical insurance and have already received more than $20,000 in medical bills. Most importantly, they want justice. In Stetman, Nate Rogers, WNCN News.